For the first time in his life, a young New Jersey man is pain-free. It's all thanks to a new gene treatment working to cure patients of sickle cell disease. He tells health reporter Jenna DeAngelis that he feels happy and relieved. <laughs> It's a milestone moment for Gerald Corte. Ringing the bell means completing his treatment for sickle cell disease. It just felt really great to know that that chapter of my life is over. So happy and so thankful that he's sickle cell free. All his life, the 18-year-old has suffered from the debilitating side effects of the rare and life-threatening inherited blood disorder. He needed frequent medical care and couldn't play sports. Even the cold triggered painful episodes. It was really rough. Missed a lot of school, a lot of things that just like normal kids would be doing. Most of the time I'd just be inside because I was in pain. It's been incredibly painful for his mother who lost her oldest son, Emmanuel, to sickle cell when he was seven. It's been rough and there was no treatment at that time. Now there is. Gerald is the first patient in New Jersey to be treated with groundbreaking Lifgenia treatment outside a clinical trial and following FDA approval in 2023 for patients 12 and older. What's going on? How are you feeling? Treated by Dr. Stacy Rifkin Zenenberg at Hackensack Meridian Joseph M. Sanzari Children's Hospital. The gene therapy treatment is um, a treatment where uh, we are essentially curing patients of their disease. She explains doctors collect a patient's blood stem cells, which are then genetically modified in a lab. The patient undergoes intense chemotherapy before the modified cells are infused back in the body to produce new healthy red blood cells. Just to endure just a few weeks of pain for a lifetime free of pain is it's definitely worth it. Now pain-free, Gerald plans to head to Penn State to study nursing and psychiatry, hoping to help others inspired by those who helped him. <laughs> Jenna DeAngelis, CBS News, New York. The treatment is covered by insurance, and while it is FDA approved for children 12 and older, younger children are being treated with gene therapy through a clinical trial at the hospital and also around the country. Jenna is our health and wellness reporter. If you have a story idea, scan the QR code there on your screen.